I'm Chef Leslie Derso, and if you're like me, you love to travel and to eat locally, but I'm here to tell you, you don't need a passport for it. All you need is a fork. Welcome to Around the World in 80 Plates. Today on Around the World in 80 Plates, we are going to Italy and we are gonna make one of my favorite recipes ever. We're gonna make eggplant parmesan, but we're gonna do it top nine free. So of course the foundation of our eggplant parmesan is eggplant. Now let me give you a little tip. There are two kinds of eggplants, what they call a male one and what they call a female one. A female has a line on the bottom of it and a male has got a dot. Now, typically, a male has fewer seeds and a female can sometimes have some air pockets. So if you're gonna be picking out your eggplants, the male ones are generally the ones that you want to get. So we are going to start by cutting the leaf top and we're gonna peel just part of it. We're gonna peel just part of it. We wanna leave some of the skin on because it's good and it gives a good texture. But if we take part of it off, it'll be easier to cut through with our fork. Again, you don't have to be pretty about it. You just wanna take off most of the skin. And then we're just gonna slice it. To get those last ones, I'm gonna lay it on the board. Now, we're gonna place these in a colander with a good helping of salt sprinkled on top of them. Now we're gonna let these rest for like 15 minutes and that's gonna help pull a lot of the bitterness out of the eggplant and make it more tender. So I'm gonna leave that over the sink and keep slicing these. All right, our eggplant has rested and now it's time to dredge it and fry it. So I've got a frying pan over here that I am just gonna put on medium high heat and I'm gonna put a decent amount of extra virgin olive oil in here. If you like to fry with a different kind of oil, go ahead. The extra virgin olive oil has a higher smoke point than regular olive oil, so if you're using olive oil for this, make sure it's extra virgin. So we're gonna prepare our dredge with our gluten-free flour from Bob's Red Mill into a tray. We're gonna take our rested eggplant, pat that off on a paper towel, and then into the flour it goes. Now notice we're not using any breadcrumbs because the real traditional Italian Parmesan does not have any breadcrumbs in it. They just use the flour and you really wanna shake it all off. The flour is really to just dry the eggplant out. And take a bath right in that hot oil. It needs about a minute on each side, and then I'm gonna take it off and put it on a paper towel lined plate. These are slippery little suckers. What is going on? All right, all of our ingredients are prepped. Time to layer our eggplant parmesan. I've got some tomato sauce that I already made homemade. If you wanna use a jar, that's fine too. And just give it a nice, nice layer on the bottom so that it doesn't stick. Next step is our eggplant. We're gonna do a nice, ooh, those are still hot. Ooh. Ooh. Once we get that eggplant down, we're gonna take some fresh basil and tear off big pieces and layer them on top of our eggplant. You can't have eggplant parmesan without the parmesan, but because we're doing this dairy-free and nut-free, I made up a little parmesan out of sunflower seeds, uh, powdered garlic, powdered onion, a little sea salt, and some nutritional yeast. Now, nutritional yeast is really good for you. It's an excellent source of vitamin B12, which everybody should be getting, and it's really easy now to find in most grocery stores, or it's easy to buy online. So I just blended that up in my food processor, and I'm gonna drizzle that on top of my eggplant and basil. Okay. Another layer of tomatoes gonna go over that, followed by another layer of eggplant 
basil, and one big last sprinkling of that sunflower parmesan. And into the oven, it's gonna go 325 for about 30 to 45 minutes until it all is bubbly and smelling delicious. So in it goes. All right, let's talk pasta. Obviously pasta and eggplant parmesan go hand in hand, but as you know, not all wheat pastas are created equal. I'm gonna introduce you to my favorite brand. It is the closest thing to real Italian pasta you're gonna find, but also being wheat free. All right, I've cooked up some of the spaghetti already and let's just get it plated on our plate. Onto our plate it goes our perfect tower of pasta and we're just going to top it with some of our beautiful tomato sauce. And we're going to put a little on the plate for where we're going to put our eggplant parmesan. Which speaking of, let's get it out of the oven. Mmm. That smells like heaven. I'm just gonna cut into it, find a nice, good square. All right, now I like the corners because I like a little added crisp. So I'm gonna take the corner out for myself. Now the first piece is always the hardest one to get out. Let's see if I can do it gracefully or not. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And we're just gonna top it with a little bit more of my sunflower seed Parmesan. And of course, a little bit more fresh basil. Manja, manja. Remember, you don't need a passport to travel. All you need is your fork.